Today we are looking at Abbott Lab stock and its technical and fundamental signals. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Abbott Labs closed at $109.71, with the decrease of negative 0.22% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is neutral, technical indication is neutral, and overall daily trend for the stock is neutral. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in positive trend. Today's market fear and greed index is 67 which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Abbott Labs gave negative 3.68% returns in the last week, 0.03% in the last 30 days, and three months returns are 10.38%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future? 5-day average is 110 with a bearish indication. 10-day is 111 with a bearish indication. 20-day average is 111, which is a bearish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In September 22, the revenue was $10,410 million. In the recent quarter, December 22, it declined to $10,091 million. Now let's see the profitability of Abbott Labs. In the quarter, September 22, the profits were $1,435 million. And in the recent quarter, December 22, the profits declined to $1033 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 0.5, then it decreased to 0.48, then in third quarter, it again went down to 0.46. In the recent quarter, the debt score was the same 0.46. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for the stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.